after reading the news of the Michigan school shooting. So I know there are no black and white issues, no black and white answers, but this prose is a place for my emotions. It's called Red, White, and Blue. How did we get here? And what will come of us? How did that 15-year-old get a gun? His family, probably. And why did they have it? For protection, probably. And who do we need protecting from? And how can we say if they should have had it? Did we wonder if anyone in the house was a danger? Probably. I've known someone who was shot dead by police. I've known someone who was threatening suicide and accidentally shot himself in the ass cheek. I remember him condescending to me, imagining he had to teach me gun safety. He's still alive. He probably still has the arsenal he did when he was 16. Government forbid Big Brother comes for his guns. He almost shot my friend. If you ask the mother of the latest dead, she'll choke back retribution. If you ask the father of the latest dead, he couldn't give a fuck less for your freedom of arms. So how do we know if a family should or shouldn't have a tool they may or may not need? Any of us. And what do we do now? They're pinned up lonely under a wall of gleaming metal, cleaning an old Soviet AK. Doesn't matter what friends there are to count, as long as we can stock up on more rounds. It's a tooth for a tooth, but you'll shoot your eye out. Here in the good old U.S. of A, here in the good old U.S. of A, we had the FBI playing mind games on MLK. The current day, we the people being installed by the NRA. You know, they paid money to stop studies on gun violence. You think you can buy enough mods online delivered to your doorstep to bring down this tyranny? They drained fire from the heavens before you realized. And you know, if your argument is preparedness against a tyrannical government, why are you also okay with police being militarized and rarely being held accountable after murdering civilians? You may as well do an about face and say you're willing to shoot your neighbor someday. Here in the current day, good old US of A, we have Fox News darling Kyle Rittenhouse being acquitted after flashing white power hand signals to white supremacists. And we live in fear of being killed in cold blood when we feel compelled to raise our fists. The battle we're fighting is of a cold civil war where the rich are weeping bullets and oil and the poor murder the poor. And power is attractive when desperation's rampant. And they'll stockpile like a good soldier. And they'll be ready when there's a knock on the door, threatening the artillery. But what about Breonna Taylor, who was not ready for that quiet knock at her door? Yeah, they'll be ready when the red menace makes its way through the streets. But what about when three kids die in school at their town? They might fucking double down. And who knows, maybe the murder weapon was once also used for protection. But who exactly are we fearful of? Ourselves. We don't mean to murder each other, but it's added to the agenda when they overproduce death sticks and thrust them upon us. It feels like we're desensitized to the continuous loss of life but it must be changing us, and I hope it is.